thank you, Madam Chair. This is the first time I've seen this amendment. Um, and I think one of the fundamental issues is just the premise of the bill and the idea around this and why I think there's some differences. Uh, we talk about the rates, but the rates, when we talk about what's in the bill, and I want to make sure it's clear of what is in the bill, um, that there is a 2% cap on the impact of this. And it was even included and cleared up in the Senate that there's an off-ramp if the 2% isn't uh, maintained. It says, in page 8, uh, line 20, <laughs> to the extent that the purchase of energy generated from eligible energy resources by a Colorado member for a qualified wholesale utility would cause an increase of rates for the Colorado member that exceeds the retail rate impact limitations of sub A. The obligation imposed on this qualified wholesale utility is reduced by the amount of such energy necessary to enable the Colorado member to comply with the rate impact limitations. So there's already an off ramp if it's going to be over 2%. Um, I mean, I think that deals with what we're talking about, at least the conversation about what this amendment is trying to get at. Um, I'm happy to have conversations about transparency. Um, I'm happy to work with the sponsor. I have not enough time to look at this amendment. I do think the cost containment of where we are with the 2% off ramp does do and provide the protections needed. Uh, for rate payers. Uh, so I'd ask for a no vote on this amendment, but I'm still happy to work with the sponsor of the amendment to see if um, we can come up with something. Minority Leader Wallace. 